The next job in this scene is to sort this light out. If we rendered at the moment, it would look absolutely rubbish because the light's too strong and we want a moody effect. So make sure you've got the light selected. Make sure you've got your attribute editor open. If you haven't, it's control and A to get it open. Um, and what we're gonna do first is we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna expand the shadow section because shadows look ace. We'll always have shadows and we love those. And we're just gonna put a tick in the box for use depth map shadows. Next time we render, we're gonna see some sexy ass shadows. Um, so let's put the camera back in the room. Um, and we're gonna go somewhere to this side of the boxes so we can hopefully see the effect that the shadow is gonna have on this scene. So hopefully there, that's gonna allow me to see some shadows over here. So let's give that a render. Oh, look at that, shadows. Shadow over here. I love shadows. So now we're starting to get that um, photorealistic feel to the scene. Aces. Right, next. Let's change the intensity of the light. It's too strong, everything looks too bright. Bright looks cheesy, I want moody. So where it says intensity, let's knock that down to 0.3. You could have 0.4 if you've got a rubbish monitor and it looks a bit too dark, but 0.3 is cool. So there we go, that's now a moody light. Let's render that again, see how that looks. Oh, that looks nice. It looks a bit dingy and scary. When we start adding the other lights in as well, they'll show up better because this is, this is a darker light because we're going to add some um, other lighting effects in the, the upcoming videos. Um, so I'll see you in the next video.